Hey guys, Dr. Dex here. Welcome back to our series on how to build stairs. Uh, I left you last time with the layout details. Uh, if these videos are a little long, I apologize, but there's just a lot of information that I'm trying to share that will help you get through that first set of jacks or maybe you're just learning something that you didn't know before. And if you do, or if you enjoy the series, please click that subscribe button. And also click the bell icon if you want to be notified every time we're putting out fresh content, which we try to do five days a week. Uh, DJ Studio Man, Calvin, a.k.a. Calvin Russell. He's the cameraman. He's the audio guy. He is the editor. And he's the uploader of all the videos to our YouTube channel. Um, thanks for coming. Thanks for following, subscribing. I really appreciate it. All right. So now we've gone through, just for a recap... We've gone through our layout, how to figure out the height of your jacks, the rise, the run. We've also figured, I've shown you how to lay out a set of stairs onto a two by 12, right? And why we have to use a two by 12. If any of these are raising a red flag, you're like, wait a minute, I didn't catch that. Go back and watch the other videos that we're putting out about how to build stair jacks, okay? Because it's really important that you guys catch every step along the way. We're breaking this down because there's a lot of information that uh, you need to know to do this properly. And again, this is how I do it. I'm. It, this may not be the method that you use. It may not be the approved method for your local building code. So always check your building code, your local building code, and make sure that you're doing something the right way so they don't fail an inspection or something doesn't happen that's not supposed to, okay? Again, I'm just sharing my information. This is for entertainment purposes only. Hope you enjoy it. Okay, great. So now what I've done is I had this one long 12-foot piece of 2x12. We did our layout. I cut it up. Now we have three pieces. Now, when you're, when you're laying out stairs, okay, when you're laying out stairs, you want a bow. If there's a bow in the board, you always want to make sure that bow is pointing up. That's pretty, pretty um, basic information, but sometimes people forget. So always bowl your material up so that when you're, when you're coming down your stairs, you don't already have a negative on top of another negative. You want to try to make that lumber crown so that you can always have positive forces in the upright uh, position. So I bowed these boards up. Now normally, if you're using multiple jacks, you're, wanna, you're gonna wanna grade these to thickness. Now, this is all out of the same board and I can tell this piece is a little thinner than these two pieces. So I got lucky here because my thinnest board should be on top. My thinnest board's on top that does my layout because that way, when I cut into this board, because I'm what I'm doing is I'm gonna cut all three jacks at the same time. You might not have a fancy tool for that. You may be just cutting these out with a standard skill saw and a jigsaw. The one thing I'm gonna tell you right now is don't overcut this, don't overcut this piece right here. I've already described this in one of my other videos. To code, you gotta have five inches between the innermost cut and the end of your board. So right here, I've got five and an eighth. But if you take a jigsaw or a skill saw and you overcut this line, I see it done all the time. Don't do it. Don't do that. You just ruined your board to code. It, it could fail, so don't do that. You just spent all this money and time cutting out these stair jacks. Why waste this? Don't overcut your board. Always use a, a jigsaw to finish this cut. You don't wanna cut past this point right here. So this is a no-no, that's a no-no. Don't do that, okay? Quick tip for you. So anyways, so now I've got them graded. I've got them bowed. I got them all the, the way I want them. Okay, remember this thing, all right? We no longer need these. These come off, all right? What I use this for now is I just want, okay, this is the bottom of my staircase over here. Here's the top. Remember, these boards might vary in thickness. Right now, the most important thing before you clamp these up for cutting is that the bottom of these boards are flush on the bottom. Don't worry about what they are on top. Worry about the bottom of these boards. So I take my square, and I make the back side of the board, come around, Cal. And I want these three boards on the bottom to match, okay? Once I got that, 
then I can clamp this in. Okay, so that's what I'm gonna do. Now I'm not gonna super duper clamp it yet because I have to adjust this end. Okay, now I'm gonna come down here. Okay, take a look camera. See the variance here? That's bad. So you want to flush everything out so it's close. All right. Now that we're close, I'm gonna clamp. Now the clamps help keep all these boards in the same exact spot. I'm gonna cut these boards all at once with a special saw. Now you may not have a special saw. It's made by Skill Saw and it's called a Sasquatch and it's a skill saw adapted to a chainsaw. Ooh. All right, I've uh, been, been hankering to do this for a while. So looking forward to it. Um, we'll get back to you in a minute. All right, so now I have my stair jacks rough cut. Um, I can see there's a couple spots that I wanna clean up. So I'm gonna go back through and just hit it with the saw first to kind of get these lines a little bit closer to where I need them. And then I'll go ahead and belt sand them a little bit and then we'll be ready for the next step. All right guys, well that concludes our cutting portion of our tutorial on how to do a staircase. Um, it's not 100% perfect when you're cutting, when you're gang cutting, but uh, a little more belt sanding might be in order. Uh, pretty much that's the rough cut. Stay tuned for our final uh, installation tips on how to actually put the staircase together and install it. Uh, if you like what you saw, please click the subscribe button. And if you want to be notified every time we're putting out fresh content, click the bell icon as well. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.